Uh, yeah, a Rome 25 isn't available. Uh, this heavy C17 just exploded also. This is just not my day. Alright, okay, so right. if you look over here, do you see your heavy C17 on fire? Two yes. Five box? Alright, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome to today's edition of Air Force Jobs. Today we're featuring the air traffic controllers, a very essential job to the Air Force mission. And I'm A1C Low, and I'm gonna give this a go. Okay, so obviously that that whole um, simulation was pretty difficult. So how how much more difficult does it get, or how do you make it harder than that? So uh, in your simulation, you had. A total of like four aircraft on frequency, which obviously we try to wrap it up for you. Obviously, uh, yeah, okay. obviously, yeah. <laughs> you had a. Uh, it's pretty hard for me. <laughs> yeah, I put two uh, emergencies in there for you to work, uh, but usually before uh, trainees get full up, they they tend to work or they're expected to work uh, about ten to fifteen aircraft, if oh, not wow. more. Maybe an emergency, whatever, whatever we could throw at them. Yeah. How do I do? Uh, I mean, there's better controllers. So. <laughs> So on a typical day, what are your duties like? So we come in 15 minutes before our shift actually starts uh, for a pre-duty familiarization brief. And uh, after that, uh, we jump into position. Uh, if you're a trainer, you, you jump in uh, with your trainee, uh, get them some live time. And then after that, we come down to the simulator and get, get them some training there. Uh, but we're usually, uh, I guess 99.9% of the time, we're usually in position or training somebody. This career field is uh, very training oriented. <laughs> so what do you think is the most challenging part of this job? Uh, most challenging part of this job would definitely be um, whenever you have, you know, 10 plus aircraft in your pattern and you have them all, all sequenced, all ready to go, and all of a sudden you have a random er emergency that pops up or, you know, a, a pilot in training, you know, uh, isn't, might not be too familiar with the pattern and that could throw a wrench in our sequence. So we have to adjust everybody around that and change up our whole plan sometimes and that's probably uh, the most difficult aspect because uh, you do have to think on your feet and make quick decisions and correct decisions because uh, lives are definitely in your hands. Yeah, I can't even imagine because I was struggling with the jargon and all the phrases so mm -hmm. how long do you would you say that took you to, to get that down? So definitely uh, going through tech school definitely uh, you know helped me out uh, I guess introduced me to like that certain type of jargon um, you know, it just takes a lot of repetition, a lot of, uh, you know, practicing uh, how to say certain phraseology with your fellow trainees or with your, uh, or with your trainers. Um, I would say maybe about within a couple of weeks to a month, um, you know, you probably have it all down. Uh, but, you know, sometimes they'll introduce new phraseology to you as you progress. So you have to learn that as well. So you're constantly learning that. Okay. Would you say I was closer to getting it down in a week or closer in a month? I'd probably say a month. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's turn this up. It's too easy. All right. Yeah. So pretty much, yeah, start turning it up. It's not easy at you all. You try your best. 